The Nazca volcano is a little-known volcano in the Quinell area of British Columbia, the Caribou region. It's a pyroclastic cone that last erupted 7,200 years ago. Its summit is 1,238 meters above sea level, that's approximately 4,062 feet. The major rock types there are Traki basalt, Tephrite basinite, basalt, picro basalt. Within 100 kilometers lives 25,000 people in the Quinell area. The Nazco crater in this footage has been devastated by the Plateau Fire. The Plateau Fire was the result of 20 separate wildfires near Williams Lake and Quinell in the year 2017. They made for the largest fire ever recorded in BC's history. 545,151,000 hectares is the final total. An article was produced by the University of British Columbia Geology Department in 2007 called Effusive Volcanism near Quinell. The recent earthquake swarms in the Anham Volcanic Belt in British Columbia caused much interest from volcanologists and seismologists. After the October 10, 2007 earthquake swarm of 1,000 microearthquakes ranging from 1 to 2.7 on the Richter scale, the Geological Survey of Canada set up five new seismic stations around the epicenter of the quakes for further analysis and monitoring of the situation. They expect that the movement is being caused by up to 500,000 cubic meters of magma moving just 25 to 30 kilometers underneath the surface. The epicenter of these microearthquakes is located roughly 100 kilometers west of the town of Quinell, BC. If the size of these earthquakes ever were to increase, it would be an indication that magma is approaching the surface, increasing the possibility of a volcanic eruption. The chance of this happening in our lifetimes is relatively remote. Nevertheless, scientists and the area's residents are excited about the possibility of seeing even a small amount of lava at the surface. In this study, we will use general characteristics of a basaltic lava flow combined with historical evidence from past eruptions to predict the extent of a basaltic lava flow that might occur in the region of Quinell and any effects it might have on the community, communications, networks, and ecosystems in the area. The Anaheim Volcanic Belt is a 600 kilometer volcanic belt stretching eastward from British Columbia west coast to the central areas of the province, created by the movement of the North American Plate, which moves westward at around three centimeters a year over a hotspot. Theories of hotspot formation vary, but the most popular is that of a mantle plume, essentially an upwelling of warm rock that is independent of the usual cycle of plate tectonics. The Anaheim hotspot is thought to be responsible for the Rainbow Range, Ilgatches Range, the Itches Ranges, and all subsets of the Anaheim volcanic belt. The youngest expression of this hotspot is Nazco Cone, formed 340,000 years ago. Its most recent activity occurred during the Holocene 7,200 years ago with a magnitude at the focus of just under 3.2 in the Richter scale. The eruption consisted of a discharge with a volume of around 1 cubic kilometer of basaltic lava that created three overlapping cinder cones. Basaltic flows have a high ferromagnesium content and erupt at temperatures between 1000 Celsius and 1200 degrees Celsius. Due to the high temperature of this lava flow, the viscosity of the lava will be relatively low, allowing the lava to flow long distances from the event. The extreme case of this, Pahoho lava, common in Hawaiian eruptions, has been studied extensively. These low viscosity lavas have flow speeds that depend heavily on underlying terrain, with a maximum of almost 60 km per hour in subsurface lava channels. Flow independent of such channels and tubes moves considerably slower may be averaging 1.6 km per hour. However, this flow speed varies greatly within the flow, with speeds depending heavily on depth and degree of cooling the flow is experiencing, essentially the distance that uh, any given magma is away from the vent. The combination of varying speeds, irregular cooling times, and uncertain depth means it will be difficult to determine the distance any lava produced by a Nazco area vent would travel. Aerial footage was provided by my workmate, David Curtis. We drive by the Nazco Cone on our way into camp and our way out of camp every week as we go to work. We're timber cruisers. Subscribe to this channel, hit like, leave a comment. Be prepared to see more weather, wilderness, wildlife, and all that and more on this channel, Joey Only Caribou Weather Dude.